Thank you. If you will excuse me. Wait. I won't you let me see our daughter? Our daughter? Whose daughter? Come on now. Come on, you and I know. You and I know what? You and I know what? Clearly, you don't know anything because you are still here acting foolish and talking nonsense. Why, why are you playing these games? Why are you pretending? Is it because of that liar that you call a husband that is doing things that he's not supposed to be doing? Why are you protecting him? Don't open your mouth and talk about my husband anyhow. I have warned you before. <laughs> you know, I, I like that look in your eye. It reminds me of one of those times when we used to fight. Eh? What do you want from me? You've been sitting down there like a child who is forced to hold in his fart. You have this look in your eyes like you're about doing something stupid. I will advise against it. This whole thing is stupid. Listen, you ingrate. Your mother and I are looking out for your future. We want the best for you. That's why the girls we've chosen are, are the daughters of the wealthiest and most respected chiefs in Ocholuje. When it comes to marriage, you have to make strategic alliances. The right move, and you strengthen your position on the throne. The wrong move, and the wrong woman, she will ruin you and your kingdom. I would like to talk about the food that they served me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I will start with you first. The food that you served me was so hot that it burned my tongue. You, secondly, the food that you served me, oh, it had so much pepper in it that it almost burnt my eyes out. And you, thirdly, the food that you served me, the fish had so many bones. Is that how your father at home prefers it? Mm? And you, lastly, smiling at me as if you did not just try to poison me with salt in your food. Hmm? I can't put that much salt inside a pot of food. Did your mother never teach you how to cook food? What? What's the meaning of this? I did come here for you to insult my daughter before me. Daughters, follow me. It seems we all have forgotten what it means to be young and rebellious. Which one of us here has not had to do something foolish when we needed to assert our manhood? <laughs> Whether it was cutting down the oldest tree in our father's compound just because he refused your choice of a wife, hmm? <laughs> or stealing your uncle's goat <laughs> to use in exchange for beads for the woman you loved. Every one of us here has a story to tell. <laughs>